Hello, I'm out and about in the city. I'm going to the Starbucks in the AER building to meet a friend. She used to be a private student of mine. She's recently spent some time abroad in the Philippines and we're going to meet for the first time since her return to Japan. So I'll go enjoy a coffee and speak to you later. So yeah, I'm back home now. I spent some time with my friend in Starbucks. We chatted for a bit. It was funny and nice. She's picked up a very Filipino accent, which is quite funny. She didn't speak like that in English before, but she speaks very easily and freely, so her English is still good, even if she's forgot some words. So that was fun. Um, after that, we went to the restaurant where my girlfriend works and we said hello, because she knows my girlfriend too. And then I came home, so here I am. On the way home, I had an idea for one of my stories, so I've made a note of that. And I have a sudden urge to watch Tangled, the Disney film about Rapunzel. So I'm going to put that on while I do some writing. Another interesting thing happened today was that I've started noticing how surprised my cat looks when I open doors and windows. And I tried to imagine what was happening in her eyes. I think she thinks our apartment is the entire world. And when I open a window, suddenly there's all these sights and smells and sounds that weren't there before. So from her point of view, I've created a whole new world from a picture just by opening a door. Or just for something like the door to my room. It just looks like a wall to her most of the time. But I open it and all of a sudden she can walk through to the next room. So I can make holes out of walls. This made me laugh because the look on her face when I open a door, she's very, very surprised. So it's interesting to think about things from someone else's point of view. It gives you a new view of the world. Well, that's it for now. It's late, so I want to post this video. Tomorrow's a very busy day, but I'll try and make time for some video. See you later.